Okay, children, since Easter is coming up today, we are going to decorate some eggs. Each one of you will have an egg to decorate in your own way, and when you're done, I'll write your name on them, okay? Let's decorate some eggs! Wow, she's very enthusiastic about eggs. Okay, children, I read your names on your lovely eggs. Now go home and show your parents your very colorful eggs you made in class. And also, have a wonderful Easter. <sighs> oh, how I love Easter. The colorful eggs, the laughter of the children finding eggs, the chocolate rabbits, and of course, the Easter bunny. Oh. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch this year. Okay, before I get into the story, I want to say that I was thinking of making this into an Easter video. Because this incident took place during Easter, but I couldn't do it. Because I was already doing the ice cream robbery animation, plus I was still in school and I had a lot of projects to do too. So I didn't really have time to do it. So don't think of it as a late Easter video. Even though it is Easter related. But yeah, I just want to give a heads up on that reference. And now, on to the story. Now, when you think of an egg, what's the first thing that comes to mind? A bird? Yes, exactly, a bird. I mean, it's common sense, isn't it? But, <clears throat> yes, a bird or a duck. And to a four or five year old who wasn't smart, that was the only thing I thought of. And if cartoons taught me anything, is that birds come from eggs, even the badass ones. The egg, if I remember correctly, was painted blue with red and green glitter on it and also had my name on it too. Now, when I got home, I couldn't wait to have my very own bird or duck because that would mean I would have my very own pet. I mean, I did have a dog, but he lived in another state. But we did have people to take care of him. <laughs> I miss you, Cujo. <laughs> sob, sob. I remember putting the egg on a cart we had, and I was sitting at the table. I wasn't sure how long it took a bird to hatch from an egg. So I waited, and waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. Then it got to the point where I was bored of waiting and wondered why my egg hadn't hatched yet. So I looked at the egg trying to figure out what was wrong. There was some scientific shit all up on it. Pocus Pocus, Flippity Flam, Arazimataz, and Alakazam. Boink. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Thanks a lot, Daffy. And then a crack came. My egg was finally gonna hatch! Was it a bird? Was it a duck? Was it something even better? It was! None of them. It was neither one. It turned out my so-called egg was nothing more than a boiled egg. I just stood there being confused, trying to figure out what was happening, and trying to contemplate what I was looking at. And then the waterworks came in.
It first started as crying, <laughs> then whining, and then intense bawling. I ran down the stairs where my mom was at the bottom of the stairs. I don't know if she was coming back from the store or was just about to come up the stairs. I ran to her still crying. JR, what's wrong? Still having the egg in my hand, showing her but because of my intense bawling crying, I couldn't bring out any words. <laughs> Then like any other mom who sees their child in need, she hugs me to calm me down. I thought that when I went back to school everyone would have these awesome pets that came out of their eggs, and I would be the only one who didn't have one. I wasn't traumatized or anything like that, but I was sad. But looking back at it, it was really funny if you think about it.